Hey guys, how are you going? It's Paul in Perth here again. I've got an interesting situation today. I've got this 2009 BR9 and it's come up with a check engine light. When I put the scanner on it, it's come up as error code P0031, which is a problem in the oxygen sensor system on bank one sensor one. And it's saying that the heater voltage is low. So what I've done, and I'll just have to reset the camera up, so just give me a second here. All right, so what I've done is I've gone to a uh, part supplier and I've bought uh, a replacement O2 sensor. So this one is actually the uh, OEM one that came with this car, which is uh, the brand is Denso in this particular case. And one test you can do to make sure that you're definitely uh, diagnosing the correct problem and what you saw on the uh, live scan is not something to do with the wiring and the harness. It's definitely something that's failed in the actual oxygen sensor what you can do is so what i'll what i'll do here i'll grab the new one so this is the brand new one the heater circuit wires are the two black ones so if i grab a multimeter and put it onto the lowest setting for ohms so in this case i've got it on a full scale of 200 ohms and i put hang on i'll just position it so you can see the output let me reposition a few things all right yep that's working good Okay, so if I then put my probes across the two black, um, the two black wires, then I get a reading, in this case, I've got a reading of 2.8 ohms, which is 2.7 ohms. So that's a, quite a small amount of resistance, but the fact is it is a positive amount of resistance. And that means there must be a circuit that is complete for that, to, that reading to come up. Now, if I do exactly the same thing on the failed one, let's have a look what happens. So this is the failed one now. See how that's all black and used? I do the same test and you can see the reading there. I put my, uh, my probes over the black wires and I get OL, which means open line. That's, that's another term for open circuit. And what that means is those two heater circuit wires are not making a circuit and therefore they are not working. And that conclusively proves uh, where the error code was coming from. It absolutely is showing voltage low. In fact, it's showing voltage zero because there is no circuit. So uh, at that point, I categorically know that this is the part that failed, that produced that um, P0031. And I now categorically know that uh, sticking in a brand new one, in this case it's OEM, so it's an, a, an exact match, I'm quite confident that it will uh, fix my check engine light. So there you go, I, I, hope you've, um, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please smash that like button and subscribe because I need subscribers. So until I see you next time, have a great day. See you later, bye. Okay, I had an afterthought that it's always nicer when you see the actual resolution at the end, so let's do it. So we'll come over here. I've now installed that, um, that new oxygen sensor since we last spoke. So if I take you over here, if you look down, you can see uh, the new one on the right, the old one on the left. Uh, so you can see that that is down into the, um, the pre-cat um, hole just there. There you go. So that's, that's the pre-cat one there. The post-cat one is, uh, it's a bit difficult to see, but it is just around the corner there. And let's go to the car and let's start it up and see if that check engine light really does go off. So we're over here. Ignition on and start. And check it out. No check engine light. We have absolutely solved it. All right. Thanks for that, guys. Have a good day. See ya.